Lift off in five, four, three, two, one, zero. And lift off. NASA probably doesn't make you think about a conference room. But each year, the best and the brightest minds gather together for hundreds of hours, sharing ideas and making plans. Unassuming rooms like this are the birthplace of our greatness. The same can be said for the Commercial Crew Program. Hi, I'm Joshua Santora, and today I'm gonna to take you on a tour overviewing the Commercial Crew Program. What is it, what are its goals, and why you should care? I'll be explaining all the places that we visit, but be sure to take a look around and enjoy the view. Are you ready? Let's go. We're here at one of the most impressively engineered runways on Earth. That's right, runways aren't just giant slabs of concrete, they're engineered structures. This one in particular was meticulously engineered to be one of the flattest, straightest, and most level runways on Earth. But why are we here? This is the Space Shuttle Landing Facility at NASA's Kennedy Space Center on the east coast of Central Florida. This spot in particular is special because this marks the end of the Space Shuttle program. Back in 2011, the final shuttle mission flown aboard Atlantis landed here and came to Main rest at this very down. spot. This was the last time we had sent humans Job into well space done, America. from American soil. This is where the story of the commercial crew program really begins. The goal was direct, invest in US-based commercial companies to enable safe and reliable transportation to and from the space station. This has also freed up NASA to be able to invest in a heavy lift capability while maintaining that valuable research aboard the space station. The early phases of the program focused on finding out what companies were out there and who was far enough along in their development that with help from us, they would be flight ready in a relatively short amount of time. This is an example of the ultimate engineering design challenge. And at the heart of any engineering challenge is solving a problem. NASA established an end goal and the criteria that it would use to evaluate the ideas and concepts that were submitted. From there, it's up to the commercial companies to prove they had a realistic and achievable path to success. We knew there would be iterations of design and iterations of construction, that's engineering. And those iterations will ultimately lead us back to American-based crew launch capabilities. Let's go find out more about our destination. We've now traveled about a thousand miles west of the Kennedy Space Center to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. This is the White Flight Control Room. This is one of several control rooms that we use here to interact with the astronauts while they're in space. Whenever we have people up there, they need our help and support from down here. And we've been providing that support from this building for more than 50 years. The International Space Station is a platform for improving life here on Earth. Astronauts on board are conducting research to better understand human health and how to deal with diseases more effectively. They're also mapping out the Earth to aid in disaster response. They're improving physical processes for manufacturing, and they're demonstrating future space technology. Since 2011, we've relied on our partnership with Russia for transportation to the space station. We've been able to procure seats for our astronauts aboard the Soyuz rocket. We're so grateful for that partnership, but we'd really like to pour those same resources into the US economy and diversify the global capability of getting astronauts, humans, to space. Eight US companies joined NASA's commercial crew program effort in the early phases of development as they designed subsystems, like breathing systems, spacecraft, and rockets. In 2012, NASA selected three companies to refine integrated systems to launch astronauts to low Earth orbit. This included spacecraft, rockets, and the ground support systems needed. Ultimately, NASA selected Boeing and SpaceX in September 2014 for the final development and certification contract to launch astronauts. A lot of that hard work is put in in places just like this. This is Michelle Green's office. She's the lead for policy planning and strategic communication for the commercial crew program. Again, this isn't a fancy place, but it's places like this where excellence happens. From communication to business functions to engineering to mission integration, every detail must be meticulously accounted for. Days when we get to launch rockets are payoffs for years of hard work put in right here. From those final three companies, we announced in late 2014 that Boeing and SpaceX would be the official partners of the Commercial Crew Program. We're also providing some unfunded assistance to Sierra Nevada and Blue Origin as they continue to develop their human spaceflight capabilities. After that announcement was made, we've been able to work side by side with Boeing and SpaceX 
as we help them develop their rockets and spacecraft to be able to fly astronauts to low Earth orbit safely. We've assigned astronauts to be on board those first few missions, and the process of testing is ongoing. Everything from parachutes to recovering capsules to launch abort systems, mechanisms to actually attach to the International Space Station, how to get an astronaut into and out of a spacecraft and all their gear, the actual spacesuits that they'll wear, designing and developing those, and so much more. Our collaborations have continued to grow and expand, and we're able to celebrate each other's triumphs and victories. We're also able to be there to support each other when there are challenges. These long years of exhaustion have been overwhelming, uh, but we've really been able to rise above that and rise to, to the level that's needed to, to succeed. That's the legacy of NASA that we continue to strive for every single day. We don't do these things because they're easy, but it's worth it. That's all for today, uh, this tour overviewing the Commercial Crew Program. We look forward to having you out next time as we prepare to launch America. Hello, I'm Kathy Leaders, Commercial Crew Program Manager. Thank you for taking a tour today with Commercial Crew. Woo!